gonna show you how to assemble the kitchen cart. In this first step, we're gonna show you how to assemble the drawers. So we're gonna get uh, part 11 and 12, part 13, part 10, and four of these screws, which are part B. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is gonna get one of these. We're gonna make sure that the groove is facing inside and it's on the bottom. Then we're gonna get part 10. Same thing, make sure that the groove is facing towards the bottom and towards the inside. We're gonna align the holes. Get your screw. Insert it. Then get your drill. drill. That saw to the other one. There you go. And then just do the same thing for the other side. Once again, make sure that the groove is facing uh, towards the inside and it's at the bottom. Just make sure it's nice and tight. And then you simply answer this part 13 inside the grooves. We're gonna get one of these, part 9, four of these screws, part B, two of these screws. Part C and this little handle, which is part D. Okay, so first we're gonna put the handle, and there's two holes one, one. We're gonna align it, these two right here. Once you have your screw inside, and make sure that the, this groove is facing uh, towards the inside. So you're gonna have the handle on the outside, align it with the screw in there. Do it. Done. Your other one. Okay. Just test it out. It's good. Okay. Okay. So in this next step, we're gonna put uh, put the front panel on here, make sure that the groove is facing on the inside and on the bottom. Align it correctly. And then right here you're gonna use your four B screws, two on each, each side. Make sure it's aligned correctly to the screw. It. and then you, you're gonna repeat the same steps for the other drawer so in this step three we're gonna build the side panel so the pieces you're gonna need for this is part three part four two part fives part six, part seven, then eight of these screws, part A, and then the Allen wrench, which is included, part H, okay? So you're gonna get your part four, you're gonna get your part three, okay. and just make sure that the logo is facing outwards, 
and you're gonna put the handle in the front and you're gonna align it with the second uh, set of holes right here in the bottom okay so you're gonna insert your screw this side Allen wrench first Then you're uh, you're gonna repeat the same process for the other three screws. This next step, we're gonna need the parts that I mentioned in the previous step: two part five, one part six, one part seven, and four of these screws. Part A. So you're gonna get your part seven, and you're gonna make sure that this is facing towards the outside. This is towards the inside, with this little plastic piece um, on the bottom. Okay. You're gonna get your part six. And we're gonna make sure that this is facing towards the bottom. Now notice how um, on this side, there's a bigger space right here than there is on this side. So the one with the bigger space, we're gonna wanna um, attach it to part seven, okay? Just screw, get your Allen wrench. Next step, you're gonna get your part five. For this one, we're gonna get wanna get the one that has this little plastic piece, um, which is basically the stopper for the drawer. You're, you're gonna wanna make sure it's facing towards the inside and it's on the bottom, aligned with this other one on the other side that's connected to part seven. Okay, so just connect it. You're gonna get your other part five, connect to here. Make sure that the bigger hole is facing towards the outside. Make sure you tighten it all the way through. Once you finish building this part, you're gonna get uh, six more of the eight screws, and then you're gonna get the side panel that you built in one of the previous steps. And here you're gonna make sure that this handle part is facing towards the outside, and then you're just gonna align the holes. So it's gonna be two screws right here, two screws here, one and one. Okay. Other two screws into this little part. Next step, you're going to get your part eight, which is this, and then two screws, part eight, and align it with the screws at the with the holes on the bottom. Okay.
Okay, so once you have all this assembled, you're gonna wanna get your part two, which is this right here. And then you're gonna need eight of these screws, part eight, okay? So in this, you're gonna wanna make sure that this wooden part is closer to uh, this other uh, wooden parts right here, okay? And this is gonna be um, on the bottom, and then this is gonna be towards the top, okay? So this next step, we're gonna show you how to install the, the wheels. Um, this is the bottom of the kitchen cart. Uh, the wheels are part E and part F. You're gonna to wanna to get uh, two, two of the wheels that have the uh, brake locks. Either you put them in the front or in the back of the uh, kitchen cart. It's just up to your preference. Simply insert it and then just turn it. Once you uh, put in the wheels and turn them with your with your hands, you're gonna want to get part G and uh, tighten them securely. Okay. Alright, ready. This next step, you're gonna want to get your top which is part one and four of these screws, which are part B. Okay. You're gonna wanna simply put it on the top, make sure it drops all the way down. Now there's four holes located on the inside of this part. So you can see the hole is lo located right here in the top corner. There's one, there's the other one on the inside and the two on the other side. And then you repeat the same thing for the other three sides. Okay, so in this last step, we're basically just going to insert the drawers that you assembled in the um, earlier uh, steps. So the make sure that the plastic, these little plastic pieces are located towards the front. There's one here and one over here on the top. These basically uh, prevent the drawers from getting pulled out. Okay. So you're gonna, you're gonna get one of your drawers. Make sure that the groove aligns with uh, with this wooden piece when you insert it. Okay. So test it out. See if you can get pulled out. Get your other one. Okay, so in this last part, you're gonna wanna get your stickers, which are part G, and you have four holes located on each side. One, two, three, four, and then they're on the same side as well, on the other side as well. Okay, get your sticker and simply cover the hole. Okay, then you're finished building your kitchen cart.